Travis might be good though. Let's just continue on the theme of tithing, shall we? So, Mormons who enter into political races, as we just had a midterm elections, and uh, they are in positions of all branches of government at all levels of government, from the federal down to the local city, uh, they are forced to pay tithing to the church. And so when the church needs a favor, though, they come a knocking. And we've seen that here in Utah, as we've had the Zion Curtain and the marijuana, medical marijuana vote that has been tampered with, uh, as well as when people try to sue the church. You have federal judges, you have state judges that are standing in the way, even Supreme Court justices for the, the state of Utah, who stand in the way, refusing to recuse themselves, in order to protect the church. This is the compromat, to use the Russian term, for the particular crime that the church causes to Mormons who go into political or government office. And so uh, this is why Senator Mike or Senator Romney, Mike Lee was a different matter. He's got a different assignment from the church. But uh, Mitt Romney uh, surprised the press by uh, voting in favor of the Marriage Act. Romney's okay with gay rights? That's surprising. <laughs> has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the church coming out and saying that the church approves of the bill, which has the exempt clause for the church. That's what Mitt Romney is doing for. And he was able to uh, bring in the compromised uh, Lumens. Senator Lemons, who was in attendance at the Washington, D.C. Temple. And so now we know what her compromise was by attending that uh, temple reopening in Washington, D.C. And so, yeah, Lee, he's already been doing other assignments for the church as senator. And so knowing that Lemons was the uh, non-member friend of Senator Romney, he was uh, busy uh, plotting his next attack on America as uh, he was involved with uh, <clears throat> uh, bringing uh, Rick Scott, Senator Scott, to the Washington DC temple and then you saw what Lee wanted Scott to do was run against Mitch McConnell to uh, replace him, but he lost and so now Lee has to come up with a new assignment for the church. But uh, yeah, this, this is what is going on here. And uh, just for a little background history of this criminal operation, Brigham Young, when the United States came in and took over his kingdom, Brigham Young didn't like that, obviously. And so the United States would put in sheriffs and judges and legislatures and Brigham Young would chase them out, kick them out, and uh, the United States would have to keep replacing them over and over again. And so when Brigham Young was turned away from being a governor, because he just couldn't stop committing crimes against the United States, uh, he then chased out the other governors. That's why in the beginning there's all these governors listed for Utah. and. Uh, and until finally the church relents after they're shut down and then there's a longer space of time for governors as a result of that <clears throat> but uh, yeah this is what the church does they put their loyalists in positions of power to protect the church and to continue the criminal operations so now yeah, there's judges are supposed to recuse themselves as we all witnessed with Justice Thomas of the Supreme Court who was required to recuse himself and we find out that Trump purposely compromised his wife to compromise him to do their bidding and they did it he did it 
and now he's guilty of serious criminal activity and uh, still nobody is locking him up as he's now part of the overthrow of America so yeah this is how serious it is that the church is involved in this is part of their plot to coup the government and re resurrect I guess we'll say their kingdom of Deseret again with all of the criminal activity that they enjoyed for the one year under Brigham Young as uh, Brigham Young had to continually fight after that when the United States took over so so much for article of faith number 12 Brigham Young didn't even want that in his scriptures anyway that was something that Richards brought back with him from England which uh, uh, John Taylor then added it in 1880 to our scriptures in the Pearl of Great Press. So yeah, Brigham Young wanted nothing to do with any of Joseph Smith's good behavior scriptures. And framed him for other things that he wasn't involved in to justify his criminal activity.